Did you know that Cairo, Egypt has an entire suburb known as Garbage City, where people sort by hand through all of the garbage from the 20 million people of Cairo? We took a fascinating tour of this area and I'm gonna show you how it works. So right here is stage one where all the trash comes in from all over the city and they separate it into dozens of different materials and each material goes to a respective place where they do something different to recycle it. Here's where a lot of the cardboard is getting pressed back together and here is a massive aluminum can cube so they're gonna recycle as well. It's not surprising that dogs love this area. They get tons of free food if the trash pickers don't get to the organic waste first, which goes to the pigs. Here's the clear plastic bottle section where they press these into cubes to recycle to make into plastic fiber, like this one right here. Nestle and Pepsi actually pay these workers to do this. Here's the thicker plastic bag section. They actually sort over a hundred different types of plastic and do different things with each. First, the big plastic bags get ground up into this type of material. And then next door, they get put in a new machine where it gets melted, pushed out into string, then cooled and cut into little plastic pellets, which can be used for a lot of different reasons. Next is plastic bags. They actually take plastic bags from all over Egypt here in Trash City. And here's where they come in the machine. They get washed, they get cleaned, they get dried, and then they get shredded and they pop out right here and they actually melt it into plastic sheets and sold to different countries. Here you can see some thicker bits of plastic that right here in this room are made straight into hangers and resold. We even saw bags of light bulbs, which I have to pull apart by hand and they can separate into different materials like plastic, copper, glass, and wire. Something important to note about Garbage City is that it's still a living, breathing, functioning city with lots of different residents that do lots of different things. There are butchers, bakers, schools, teachers, and all sorts of things going on. But the thing about it is that most of the people are employed sorting rubbish. The APE is one of the coolest parts of Garbage City where there's lots of talented women making recycled materials into weaving, patchwork, paper, and more. Here are some doilies and bags they made out of soda can pop tops. Here are some picture frames made from magazines and coffee cups. They even recycle paper and make it look super pretty and make lots of different types of jewelry out of tons of things. Those are coffee cups right there. I couldn't help but get some cool recycled jewelry. Next, we visited one of Garbage City's many pigeon towers where people keep pigeons as a hobby. But we were more interested in the view. We met some of this guy's different types of pigeons, but we were really excited to see the view of Garbage City from above. Here you can see lots of different sorted types of rubbish on the roofs and really get a feel for what the city is like. When I was up there, I mentioned that the trash really is everywhere. And our tour guide said, it's not trash, it's materials. And materials mean money. And that really hit home with me because it made me look at trash in a different way. What we've been conditioned to see is disgusting. These people just see as a lifeline and a way to make money. I wrote a whole blog post about my experience with a few different questions that I asked my tour guide and some questions that you might have as well. So enjoy this old car that somehow still runs and then check the link in my bio to read more.